So today we'll be starting statistics. So first the definition is an aggregate of facts which are affected by a number of causes and which are expressed numerically to some reasonable extent of accuracy and which are collected in a systematic manner for specific purpose is called statistics. So the basic definition is like the study of some characteristics or facts. So characteristics and facts. The study of these are known as statistics. So now there are some definitions called like variables. So terms. So the first term is variables. So variables is a symbol like x, y, something like that that can assume any prescribed value and if the variable has only like one value and its value is fixed then it is known as a constant like we can have a variable like n that will denote some number like number of family so this is just a variable so and now there are some the types of variables are like discrete and continuous so first is discrete so a variable like so it is still first the de definition of continuous so that will be easy to understand so a variable that can theoretically assume any value between two given values suppose like we have a range between 2 to 3 so it can have any value between 2 to like 2.1 2.1 2.225 2 something like this and where on the other hand the discrete variable refers to like values like integer values so or something like that like 2, 5, 7 and so on now is a, there is a definition called frequency so let us see what is frequency so the number of occurrence of an observation or data of variable is called frequency suppose there is something like this 30, 25 30, 1, 2, 7. Now we will see the frequency of 30. So the frequency of 30 will be what? 2 times because it has occurred 2 times within this list of data. The frequency of 1 will be what? 1. Frequency of 2 will be 1. So this is what refers to frequency. So next we have like simple frequency distribution. So there is some, this is like some data are given like 3, 4, 5, 7, 3, 6, 2, 1, something like this. And we will just arrange them in the order of the frequency. So like x is the values and f is the frequency. So starting from 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. The frequency of 1 is what? 1. Frequency of 2 is 1. Frequency of 3 is 2. Frequency of 4 is 1. And let me add like 5, 6, 7, 7. So frequency of 5 is 2. Frequency of 6 is 2. Frequency of 7 is 3. So this is known as a simple frequency distribution. So simple frequency distribution. So now there is something called group frequency distribution. So this will look something like this. Suppose we are considering for the marks and frequency. So marks can be something like this 0 to 10, 11 to 20, 21 to 30 and like so on up to like 81 to 90 and so on. So the frequency of like will be 2, 5, 7 and so on like 9 and all these. Now we will see some like terms associated with group frequency. So the first term is class interval. So class interval is like this is these are the class intervals from 0 to 10, 11 to 20. These are class intervals. So class limits. So class limits the two extreme values specifying a class interval is called the class limit so there are two terms here lower class limit LCL and upper class limit 
Suppose we have the class interval of 0 to 10. Here 0 is the lower class limit and 10 is the upper class limit. So next we have class boundaries. The class boundaries of a class are defined as lower class boundary LCB is defined as lower class limit minus D by 2 where D is given by LCL of the class minus UCL of previous class previous class and LC and LCB and now we have something called UCB is the upper class boundary that will be UCL plus D by 2 so here D will be LCL of next class next class minus UCL of class so now we have the class mark or mid value that is simply half plus LCL plus UCL and the last is the width of a class so this is UCB minus LCB upper class boundary minus lower class boundary so this will be our all the introduction and the basic definitions so thanks for watching it yeah!